This time, I've procedurally generated the biodome colonies using De Linne triangulation. First, I make a new 2D node for testing. Add a camera with current enabled and drag an instance of the bio colony scene. In the attached script, randomize on initialization and map the enter key to reload the scene. Then remove all the bumpers from the colony scene, reset the position, and erase everything from the attached script. Set the spawn size to 500 and randomize count between 4 and 7. Add the dome list array and preload the housing scene. Call build on initialize and draw on ready. In build, add domes until the total reaches count. Set the position with rand chords and append it to the list. In rand chords, return a position within size centered at the origin. Then in draw, loop through the dome list and add them to the scene. Now it draws the domes and I can press enter to reset. Some of them are clipping though, so I need to spread them out. I set the minimum distance to 200. Add the isValidChords function to loop through the domes and compare the distance. In rand chords, return the position if valid, otherwise try again. Now the domes are far enough apart, but sometimes it throws a stack overflow. So I add an attempts parameter to rand chords, which decrements with each iteration. If it reaches zero, return false. Rename build to make domes and set rand chords to 20 tries. If the position is not valid, return false to break the function or return true on success. In reset, empty the dome list and call build again. Then in build, call reset if make domes returns false. This makes it rebuild until a valid colony is generated. I can spam enter and it doesn't throw an error, so now I'll attach the tubes. In make domes, add an array for the coordinates and append the position of each dome. Then call make triangles with dome chords and return the result. In make triangles, generate De Luna points from the coordinates. Get the domes for each triangle and call connect domes. Then return true for now. Connect domes loops through all three, gets the next one in the triangle, and connects dome 1 to dome 2. If a valid tube is returned, append it to the tube list. Add the tube list variable and empty it on reset. Draw the tubes before the domes so the pin joints work later. Then I open the housing dome and attach a new script extending the bumpership base class. Preload the tube scene and add the connected tubes array. In connect dome, if the dome isn't already connected, make a new tube, call set domes, and return the tube. Is dome connected checks each tube's connected dome list for the value. Also, reapply the export variables through the inspector. Attach a new script extending bumpership to the tube scene as well. Add the connected domes array. In set domes, append both to the list and add tube to their connected tubes. Then call set endpoints with the dome coordinates. For now, this just sets the position to the points average. I cut down the tube image to 32 pixels wide. Enable the repeat flag and re-import the image. In the tube scene, resize the collision shape. Hide the static effect for now and change base sprite to a polygon 2D. Under data, 
make a new polygon with four points, and set it to the size of the image. Change the position so it's centered on the origin. And reset the export variables. Now it spawns a tube segment at each connection. Set the rotation using direction 2 converted to angle. Set the length to distance minus 130 so they don't overlap the domes too much. Make the polygon using length and offset by half times negative 1 to recenter. Set the collision x extent to length divided by 2. It works sometimes, but for the most part, the segments are scattered. So I enable visible collision shapes under debug to see that all the tubes have the same size hitbox, which is pushing everything around. Enable local to scene on the collision shape resource to fix the problem. Next, I'll add the pin joints. In the dome script, on ready, call the parent ready and make joints. This adds a new pin joint 2D for each connected tube. Set node A to the parent, which is the dome, and node B to the relative tube path. A number is appended to duplicate node names when they enter the tree, so this has to be set after the tubes are drawn. It works for the most part, but sometimes a dome is too close to another tube and it wobbles around. In the colony script, add a triangle coordinates array to the make triangles function and append the position of each dome. If the triangle is valid, connect the domes, otherwise return false so it can reset. Is valid triangle calls is valid angle for all three combinations of points. The built-in angle2 function finds the angle in radians between the origin and the two vectors. So in is valid angle, subtract the center point from both ends and call angle2. Convert from radians to degrees and find the absolute value. If the angle is less than 25, return false. Now it always generates the colonies correctly. There's still some setup to make it work in game but I'll do that next time. I just commented it out from the spawn list for now. Thank you for watching the Star update, and have a great day.